This is San Diego News Daily. Hello and welcome to San Diego News Daily. I'm Michelle Medina. A traffic alert this weekend. A large portion of Interstate 8 is closed, impacting your East County commute. The closure started around 9 last night. It goes from Jackson Drive in La Mesa and ends near Broadway in El Cajon. Caltrans says crews will continue work on the $28 million bridge rehabilitation improvement project. The goal is to touch up infrastructure of aging bridges and roads along Interstate 8. Well, some of the infrastructure is more than 60 years old. Basically, I'm going to avoid it completely. Um, fortunately, from here at Trader Joe's, I can take the back route that just is off the freeway, goes past Grossmont High School, and then I'm home. So not a big deal for me. Well, traffic will be diverted to nearby state routes. Caltrans says the 8 freeway will reopen early Monday morning. For the first time this summer, West Nile virus has been detected here in the county. It was found in a dead bird in Claremont. The discovery is prompting health leaders to remind people to avoid mosquitoes as they can transmit the virus to humans. The county says it's important to limit mosquito breeding by dumping standing water around your home. You can also get free mosquito fish from the county if you have a stagnant pool, pond or fountain. The symptoms of West Nile virus include a fever, headaches and a rash. Contact your doctor if you believe you have been infected. Well, we just wrapped up our annual Clear the Shelters campaign. It is our yearly push to get shelter pets into loving homes. In this year's event, it was another success. Nearly 5,400 animals were adopted during the month-long campaign. More than 250 pets found new homes last Saturday alone during our in-person adoption event. Now, there are still many pets searching for a new family, though, and you can check out the Sandy, San Diego Humane Society's website for a list of those adoptable animals. Meteorologist Angelica Campos has your forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20. Weather coverage you count on. You count on accuracy. The winds are going to be increasing. You count on these experts. Take a look here at our future weather. In two languages. You count on innovative tech. Look at our first alert Doppler radar. From a team you depend on. Dry conditions to round out this week. You count on early warnings. The tornado warning for parts of East County. Because you know every second counts. They just kept getting worse and worse. This is first alert weather. This is coverage you count on. Only on NBC7 and Telemundo 20. Happy Saturday. Welcome back. Temperatures will be warming up as we go throughout the morning, expecting plenty of sunshine into the afternoon. A storm system is on the way. It's going to be one of the first of the season and of the, of the season rather, and we're going to see a little bit of light rain as we head into Monday morning. Temperatures are also expected to get even cooler for this Saturday it will be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees below normal, but by Monday it could be up to 20 degrees below the average. So as we go throughout the day today, clouds will clear. We'll see sunshine clouds return at night. Maybe a touch of drizzle in the morning out of the marine layer, but the main system is going to be Sunday night into Monday. So you see a little bit of that green starting to show up. That's the light rain we're expecting. Monday morning looks like it'll favor the North County in some spots may see up to a tenth of an inch, but we're going to be in the hundreds of an inch when we talk about the general area, the entire county. So not a whole lot of rain, but it's OK. It's always great to see those clouds getting darker and eventually a few drops come out of the clouds. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s today at the coast 80 inland 80s also in the mountains 98 degrees in the deserts and overnight it's going to be nice and cool great to open up those windows get that free AC provided by mother nature mostly cloudy skies overnight especially from the coast into our inland communities temperatures will stay cool heading into the week there's that drop in temperatures we're expecting as that first system moves in a secondary one weaker one Wednesday into Thursday is going to keep temperatures below normal for the entire week but keeping our eyes into the next week Weekend. Get ready. It's going to be a little bit warmer heading into Saturday and Sunday, mid 80s to upper 80s in the mountains and the deserts back to the triple digits. But it is going to be one of the best weeks in the deserts. We just have to keep an eye on the wind Sunday into Monday. Wind gusts could go up to 30 to 40 miles per hour as that system moves across the county. Nisha. All right, Angelica, thank you. The San Diego Zoo says its newest tiger cub at Safari Park is doing well. The park released new video showing the tiny tiger who weighs about five pounds. He's nearly a month old now. He's bonding with his mom Jillian in their den where he'll stay for several weeks. Sumatran tigers typically nurse for 10 weeks before eating solid food. This breed of tigers is critically endangered. 
there are fewer than 600 remaining in the wild. He is a cutie, but he's going to be a big boy. There is more coverage you can on at NBC7.com, and you can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle Medina.